Today on ComTech Engineer, we will be unboxing a calculator. But not just any calculator. A calculator that made its way 4,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean and costs about 300 US dollars. In this box is the Swiss Micros DM32, which is their flagship RPN calculator product, which is a remake of the Hewlett Packard 32. Now I can already hear everyone saying it, and yes, $300 is a lot of money for a calculator, and it comes in such a tiny package. But as the old saying goes, big things can come in small packages. So let's open this up and see what our $300 gets us. In the package you get a nice owl card insert that says thank you for your purchase, wishing us many years of calculator usage, and a note that the calculator battery is not rechargeable. I hope that note isn't because of the review I did of their DM42 a couple years ago where I mistakenly mentioned that the battery was rechargeable. Hmm. Oh well, moving on. We also have a couple of QR codes that link to the Swiss Micros website and the Swiss Micros forum. You also get a DM32 card insert with a description of the DM32 and a list of specifications, which we will cover a little bit later. But let's continue on and get to the actual calculator itself. And just so everyone can see the inserts well, let me put them back in the shot here. And let's open up the cardboard box flaps so we can get a good look at the calculator itself. And I just noticed too, there's a nice picture of a mountain in the background. It's a nice touch there. Here we go, the leather protective pouch is a very soft and supple leather, softer than the leather of the DM42. So let's remove it from the leather pouch and reveal what everyone has been waiting for. This is the Swiss Micros DM32, a 300 US dollar reverse Polish notation calculator. Right off the bat, it seems like they have new or different screensaver images compared to the DM42. So taking a look around the calculator itself, it has a very good weight to it. The backside has four rubber feet, a reset button, and some text here with the model number, serial number, power source, which is a non-rechargeable battery, and Swiss micros written in large text. So let's power it on and test out some of the keys. The keys are definitely more clicky and tactile than the DM42. So this is interesting. It thinks the date is 2016 and it says new at the top. I'm not exactly sure what that is about, but let's move on. So let's try out a quick calculation here to make sure it can actually calculate. So let's do a quick area of the circle calculation with a radius of five. So that would be 5 squared times pi, and we get 78.5398 units squared, and that looks good. Okay, so let's head over to the Swiss Micros website and take a look at the calculator listings. And here we have the DM32, which is 249 Swiss francs which depending on the current exchange rate is around 300 US dollars, maybe a little bit less. I think in total with tax and import fees, I paid about 320 US dollars. And here is a list of specifications, similar to what we saw in the card insert. So let's go through these. And I just noticed in the description, it says beta firmware install updates will be required. All right, so after we cover these specs, let's check the user manual and see if we can figure out how to update the firmware. So for 249 Swiss francs, you get a case made from stainless steel that has a matte black physical vapor deposition or PVD coating that is laser engraved. The software is a custom calculator implementation running on Swiss Micro DMCP operating system that has no emulation. The processor is an ultra low power ARM Cortex M33 at 160 megahertz. The flash memory is 64 megabits. The floating point, point standard is IEEE 754-2008 that offers 128-bit floating point precision implementation. 
The ISO conformity is TR24732. The display is a monochromatic, ultra-high contrast, 14 to 1 transflective memory LCD display. The display resolution is 400 by 240 pixels. The display active area is 58.8 millimeters by 35.28 millimeters. The display dot pitch is 147 micrometers by 147 micrometers. The connectivity is through USB-C, and it says it connects as a USB mass storage device, which is kind of interesting. The battery type, of course, is the non-rechargeable CR2032 3-volt lithium coin cell. The total case size is 77 millimeters by 144 millimeters by 12 millimeters thick. The weight is 180 grams. The warranty is five years. And right here we have a link to the DM32 user manual, which we may want to check out because it may give us instructions on how to actually update the firmware on this thing. Okay, so let's click on this DM32 user manual and see if we can find the firmware update section since in the description that's the instructions it gave us. I think I saw it down here before as I was perusing the website. Okay, right here, section 22, firmware update. And that's perfect. It looks like we have compatibility with Windows, which is trash. Linux, which is awesome, so that's good for us. I won't be doing the firmware update in this video because that'll take probably way too long. I'm not 100% sure how to do it. I'll have to follow these instructions and figure it out. But as far as this quick unboxing review goes, that should cover it. Let's check in quick with our sidekick AI, Winston, and see what his thoughts are on the DM32. I'm at a loss for words. You paid 320 US dollars for a calculator. The inefficiencies in shipping that device across the Atlantic Ocean are causing my RAM to leak. Hmm, I see. Well, apparently Winston is not a fan. At any rate, the Swiss Micros DM32, while expensive, is so far an excellent calculator and I'm very happy with my purchase. And keep an eye out in the next few weeks, I may make a follow-up video about the process of upgrading the firmware. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.